We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hey guys, Justin here with First Updates Now, checking in from the Palmetto Regional. We're here today with 4451 Robots Garage, one of the best teams in the state of South Carolina. And today they want to talk with us about their intake. They want to talk about their limelight, how it automatically tracks the target all across the field. And they want to talk to us a little bit about their autonomous. The first thing I want to talk about in a robot is our intake. It's, uh, it flops up uh, normally at the beginning of the match. And then when we need to deploy it, uh, we have some pneumatic cylinders that push it out and flop it down. One control. And it just flops right out and it can uh, spin the suck up balls. Um, the other cool thing about it is when we run our intake, uh, not, uh, it runs not only our uh, actual thing that sucks up balls, it also runs our agitator and it runs the base of our tower so that uh, we, can, uh, we can automatically get a ball inside of our tower first so we can reduce jamming. So we get one ball inside when it hits this limit switch back here, it stops the agitator and the tower motor. And it just starts. Uh, it just runs this, so ba so uh, we can get one ball in the tower, four balls inside our hopper, so we can reduce jamming. Uh, I'll pass it off to Addison, our operator, for uh, shooting. Ooh, the one with the wrong control. So after we'll prime and we shoot it up, our tower has three different speeds for the three places we'll shoot. We shoot from short, and we'll shoot trench, and we'll shoot long. Most of the time, you'll see us shoot a um, long in a trench, and our Limelight will send out a green light on the reflective surface on the, um, what's it called? Vision tape. Vision tape. And it will reflect back and it will track it as we move if we turn it on. And we'll move around, find our target to get an average area. And then as we're moving, it will watch the target so that we'll have full aim. Yeah, and uh, it, it allows us to... Uh play well against defense this year because not uh, we have four Falcon 500s in our drive base um, as well as six inch pneumatic tires so we really wanted to play around defense because we thought we might have to go against that this year so not only do we have that in our drive base but the turret being able to rotate um, 180 degrees forward to back and use the limelight to automatically track really allows us to play against anyone who wants to try and push us around uh, we have two we have different pipelines we have one short pipeline from around the front end of the field and we have one long pipeline in case we want to do some long shooting we can shoot from the 10-foot initiation line, the trench, and from behind the color wheel if we need to. We also, um, for our autonomous modes, we have three of them. We have one where we shoot three, and then we pick uh, back up, pick up three from the trench, and then shoot those. So we have a six ball. We have one where we shoot three, from, uh, three, shoot three, back up, pick up two from the shield generator, and then shoot two from there. And then we have one where we shoot three and just back up. So we have, we're very diverse in our autonomous, and it's very consistent so far in use of this competition. I wanted to show you guys one more thing. Pretty cool little tribute to Woody Flowers here. This year they went and went their, uh, named their robot the Woody Wagon. Yeah, one of their themes is always running hot rods. Today they got the Woody Wagon on the robot. Um, so once again, checking in with Robots Garage 4451. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.